though, once again for Felder, who continues to apply pressure here. I thought about tapping there for a second. That was not fun. That's <laughs> pretty tight on the neck. Oh, it's all in the carotid artery right there. And then your own shoulder kind of cuts off the other one. This is called a blood choke. This is definitely a blood choke. Yeah, this is, he's switching from like guillotines to dars to anaconda, which is just really which side the arm is on. It's all relatively, the guillotine's more cutting off your air. But see how he keeps trying to prank my head down? Because he was already kind of, he knew he was knocked out? Like, yeah. Yeah. Give me the hell out of here. Wow. And that man is now the baddest lightweight. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. And then you elbow him like five more times. <laughs> and it's funny, when Joe interviewed me, he's like, did you feel him tap? I was like, yeah, but... Nobody <laughs> stopped it, so I got I got stuff for it, but I got a lot of people hating on me back then too. Wow. You're malicious. I'm like, we're in a, f yeah, we're yeah. fist fighting. What yeah. do you mean? Uh -huh. We are in. Are we in Venice Beach? Yeah. We are in Venice Beach, California, and we are doing a. Well, Ari's doing his season opener, and Paul Felder and I are doing the pro am of the Herbalife Olympic Distance Triathlon. So we have a, a athlete from the Challenge Athletes Foundation doing the swim. I'm going to do the bike, and then Paul's going to break his PB in the 10K off the bike. So he's going to he's going to bring it home, bring the victory home for sure. Me? Yeah. We're about to go do some photo shoot interview action, and they want some pictures in the race kit and the tri suit. And I'm thinking, you know, a lot of people like to put sponsors out. But I just like to rock the sample, you know. Keep it simple. This this could be so many things, and I just want to express that. Yeah, Connor from <laughs> on your left was obviously trying to get some kits to sell, and obviously eventually it would have on your left or whatever you wanted on your kit. So we got some samples, and it literally says sample all over them. And uh, I wanted the suit. He sent it to me. He's like, try it out, see if it fits. And I haven't raced in it yet, but I'm thinking that time is coming soon to show off the sample. Should we, should we let everyone vote in the comment section? Or this. I mean, this is, you know, it's a regular suit. You know what I do love about this suit? Look at all these pockets. You could carry a kitten with you, Ari, on this. Or a small dog. So do you want everyone to vote? Yes, what do you guys think? This, which is a, a it's great, but it doesn't, it doesn't say sample on it. Shakeout jog, break a sweat with my BFF, bestie, bestie, my sister. <laughs> Is your sister racing too? Ooh, I keep trying, but yeah, not this year. <laughs> Professional cheerleader. Professional cheerleader. <laughs> you have a, you have a lot of media going into the event this weekend. Yes, <laughs> pretty good amount, but um, I'm stoked to be doing the. The Pro Am Relay, so it takes a little bit of pressure off. I get to race with some teammates, um, so I can really come here and yeah, do a lot of work with Herbalife for the weekend. Get some photo shoots, content to build for the year ahead, and visit with local distributors. And so yeah, I got a lot of stuff with Herbalife, but um, this is yeah, I'm excited. It's just a fun weekend, so. Right. Nice. It's good. I think so. It's freaking hilarious. Aaron, how much does Lionel love these shoots? 
<laughs> tell us, just tell us. Um, I mean, I think his face says it all, really. Like, I think there's absolutely nothing he'd rather be doing right now. <laughs> And then let's reverse that, so you're at the side. <laughs> oh man. Right. Wondering where these yeah, photos come from. No, 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 I'm not feeling too Oh yeah, you just got excited. I've got to work out the emotions yeah. of these shoots. Alright. Alright, cool, go for it. Nice. Arms crossed, from there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, Sorry. game time decision. <laughs> what have you picked? <laughs> We're gonna go sample kit. Hello. I've been, look, I'm waiting on if the other one's got something that should be black. I might get it, but if not, I might get it with those. But, um, I think it is a sample. Yeah, this one feels like a buddy no, toy. No, I don't think it should I've have. I've almost broken it. So today we're doing the, all the portraits and all the, some of the action shots in the studio for the image library again. So yeah, nothing, ex nothing too exciting, but we're building a really good image library for uh, the PTO. So. so the graphic design team gets them after me and then they go all on social media and hopefully looking at banners and stuff for future events. So I'd love to see some of these photos on the side of stadiums, billboards, all sorts of stuff. Yep, and then head nice straight to me. Yeah, the keen lay would be a person, Sam Long. I've been in a few battles now. Sam, Sam and I are in recent, the last year, um, I think I'm probably up like 3-1 or something like that. So, you know, it's a half decent. I definitely would like to get Cordelline back and have that battle over again. But uh, you don't have too many rivals from that standpoint. I asked him what happened, he told me. I played it safe. Never took a leap of faith. Venice Beach, the, the place to be apparently. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I don't know what what I imagined beforehand, but uh, this is way. It's it's just so many impressions. It's it's insane. Pretty cool though. I like it. But the smell of uh, weed hanging in the air all, all the time. <laughs> I could do it without it. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna make it on race day. Just from the like, just just from the air quality, it's. Uh, I feel bad for my team. <laughs> then uh, recovering. So uh, seriously, it's the, week, Uber biker. it's the week after I just showed that, that we are pretty dominant, like, in the swim, on the bike, and on the run. So. I think this one will be for fun, and we're gonna we're gonna do some banter and stuff. But I think we got things settled last week, didn't we? Yeah. Or are you <laughs> or are you gonna settle it in uh, Edmonton? That's where we start. So this is early in the season, and I know for sure we have some things to build uh, going into Edmonton and uh, and maybe Dallas as well. Um, and then we're gonna finish uh, finish the year in in Kona. I saw you talking to the lifeguard, what were you telling him? Nah, I just told him, don't worry, Sam Long is not uh, swimming this weekend, so he can say a day off. <laughs> what are you about to do? Oh, every time we come to the ocean, I think it's a good idea to uh, get in there and just slowly become one with ocean swimming. And yesterday was quite choppy, and I felt pretty comfortable, much more comfortable than Oceanside. So slowly but surely will amass experience. You know? So you're not even swimming on race day, you're just no, out here swimming no, now? No, we're just here for, for practice and experience, so that any time we do get an ocean swim, we will have logs as much time as we can. Here's some good ones rolling in, let's go play in them.
they're just doing some starts into the waves now. I'm, I'm done. I, my calf started cramping. I had a nice 10 mile run out on the beach. It's nice and warm and hot, but tomorrow rest up, easy work. They'll do it on their own. But yeah, so it's, it's a long day. I'm freaking starving right now is what I am, but this is fun, man. I really feel comfortable in the ocean now. You can see these guys are getting super comfortable with it right now too. But. Uh, Haven is our swim starter. Uh, and from everything I've researched, she's an absolute animal in the water. I think she's gonna get us a nice start. And then Lionel obviously is taking the bike and he's, you know, he's just looking to go out there and absolutely smash it, have fun. And then I'm just gonna go out there and run as hard as I can until the end and hopefully get us across that finish line first. Um, there's some good competitors out there though, man. It's gonna be a fun race. I think at the end of the day, like me and Rudy are already having a little fun smack talking and hyping this thing up, but uh, really it's just to raise good awareness for this and everyone involved and it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun, but I'm gonna try to crush myself out there for sure. That's the only goal I have is to just run as hard as I possibly can and, and try to seal the deal for our team.